This video is a bit different than what I usually make, but I really wanted to talk about it because I'm deeply fascinated by it. I'm talking about the sudden emergence of artificial intelligence, or AI. AI has been around us for some time now, but only recently, as late as late last year, it became more accessible and tangible in the shape and form of text-based AI and image-based AI. Text-based AI works like this. Online services like ChatGPT allows you to ask it anything, and it'll write up an answer by compiling information from countless sources into a believable answer. Need to laugh about a joke? Want to hear a poem? Or want to know three reasons why the American auto industry failed in the 1970s? The AI has all the answers. There are students that use this to complete their schoolwork with literally the touch of a button. Heck, my next automotive history episode could be entirely written by AI. Maybe it already did. But herein lies the problem. Much like your own spouse, it can tell you what you want to hear. And is the response you'll get the universal truth? It compiles an answer based on what is found on the internet. But what if its own sources are wrong? And that brings us to the other one. Image creation and rendering based on artificial intelligence. How does that work? Usually you simply type in what you want to see and it will create what you want. You can even feed it reference images so that it has a sense of direction. The more specific you are, the more concrete the end result will be. Although it will always have an element of surprise because you never know what you're truly gonna get. There are a couple of websites that you can use to design your own car. Some of them are free to use, but the results are very mediocre at best. Sometimes it looks like you're looking at a bad dream. But then there are AI like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion and Doll E, and offer a high level of image quality, but some require you to sign up or you need to buy a subscription plan after a free trial. But let's fiddle around. Here are some creations I made using Midjourney. I'll show you the images along with the input I used to create it, and I'll let you decide if it's a hit or miss. Here are some of the AI-generated what-if cars. The first one I have is what would a Lincoln Continental Mark III look like if it was designed by Bill Mitchell, the head of the design department of rivaling General Motors. Specifically, what would a formal Mark III with the sharp lines of a first generation Buick Riviera look like? Would it lead to the ultimate personal luxury car? I first tried to combine the two images I just showed you, and this is what the AI came up with. It's not too bad. It manages to combine the hidden headlights of the Mark III with the sharp grille of the Riviera. It also took the canted front fenders of the Riviera and made them straight, like the Mark III. I like how the formal roof of the Mark III clashes with the sharp body lines of the Riviera. It almost starts to look like a Cadillac Eldorado of some sorts. But these are based on reference images. I also asked the same through the text prompt, without the images, and this is the result. Despite the oddities, like 8 headlights, the general design looks really good and meets my expectations, especially like this one. This is how I would have done it as well. It even sometimes takes the liberty to also present the images that look like early development design sketches. Would you buy this ultimate personal luxury car? The second one is based on the text prompts. What if the 1958 Edsel actually looked good? while retaining the vertical grille. And this is the result. And I don't like it at all. It certainly looks like an alternative universe Edsel, but one from an even uglier universe. Of the four images, the one that I would most likely choose is this one. The center grille is a bit less in your face, but certainly won't win any beauty contests. The last one I have is the 1958 GM cars designed by Virgil Exner of the rivaling Chrysler Corporation, whose forward look design was praised across the industry. Could Exner fix the GM Chromobiles? Certainly not. These cars are way off. Some design elements are flat out fantasy, then realism. And I don't see any forward look in any of these designs. The fins also seem to be from another planet. The only car that looks close to realism and could pass for a real car is this one. This kind of looks like an alternative universe 1957 Chevrolet. Definitely a miss by the AI. The beginning is here, but the AI has still a lot to learn. For instance, AI still seem to have problems with headlights. Some feature six or even eight headlights. Far from period correct, but there ain't nothing a little Photoshop can't fix. 
And yet, I have been paying attention to these AI-generated cars, and the pace it learns the subtleties in car design is astonishing. A year ago, the AI would usually come up with something simple like gluing the design of car A to car B in a distorted way. But now I notice that the AI even pays attention to things like design continuity, a design philosophy of a certain car maker. It sometimes comes up with a result that makes me think, this makes sense. This is logical. This is the way I would do it as well. Some of the images you saw were created by Automotive.ai, one of the Instagram accounts that jumped into this niche and are currently at the forefront. I don't know how he does it, but some of the cars trick me into thinking they are real. Look at this Porsche pickup for instance. It's not exactly how I would envision a Porsche pickup, but would you look at the quality of the image, the details and the lighting? It almost looks like an actual photo. Now imagine what this technology could mean for the car industry. What if, in 10 years, AI is able to design an entire car? Imagine an automotive sector AI that designs cars based on input like the dimensions and specification of the architecture of a car chassis and body, along with all the safety legislation like headlight placement and crumple zones. Only thing left is to give it an artistic direction like kinetic design or a dynamic design or a formal design and the AI is able to put together a complete blueprint for a car. Car makers could instantly fire their whole design department, couple the AI generated blueprint to a CAD program and an automated 3D car printer and you design, construct and build cars by the touch of a button. Maybe I'm going a bit too far. The same thing about AI has also been said about robots, and over 70 years people scream they'll replace everyone, yet it doesn't happen so fast. Anyway, what do you think? Is AI, is artificial intelligence just a hype? Or is it going to be the next big thing since canned bread? Let me know in the comments, and please also have a go at creating your fantasy cars. Interesting times lie ahead.